What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Sean Taylor, and I do this because I believe artists should be able to control their own destiny. So today I'm going over MA, always mess his name up, and how fast and lyrical rappers similar to him make hits. Let's get into it. So a dope chorus. Dope choruses are always helpful. That's obvious. Not going crazy deep into this. Um, a great example of this, you know, Kendrick Swimming Pools, great chorus, go listen to it. And we also know how lyrical Kendrick can be. So another thing though is slow down. When people can't understand you, it's hard to make a hit because people can't repeat what you're saying. And also it doesn't stick in their head because they don't know everything that you are saying. So it can be hard to make a hit when you do this. There's some examples that are outside of this that set of data. You know, this doesn't apply to every song. You can always find an example, but just follow this. See, Jay Z used to rap really fast, slow down, start making more hits, but because people can understand them. Simple as that. Small example. But also, tell a story. Telling a story just helps you slow down as a fast and lyrical rapper and it makes it easier to resonate with what people are saying. Simple as that. Um, here's a great example. So, everybody who knows Eminem knows he's the most rapping is rapping is fast rapper, technical rapper, super lyrical. However, when he made this song, it was one of the things that super broke through. It's crazy how deep he got into this story. I mean, um, it's Stan for you guys who don't know, whatever. But um, just making a narrative, it's just, it plays with people's imagination. And it just makes it easier to stick with people. This is a super unique narrative. But even Lupe Fiasco's Kick Push was a great example of, you know, just creating a narrative for people to listen to and really resonate with. Because you're going to relate to whoever you know can relate to your actual story you know lupe hit a very strong demographic in terms of people who like skateboarding um just the chill mood and similar people to him but don't forget the music that's pretty much number one so a lot of fast rappers lyrical rappers they're rapping over the beat and it almost sounds like you can just take the lyrics like they wrote the lyrics without the beat and just found a beat that matched it instead of playing with the beat and integrating with the unique things of that particular beat always do that if you can because it just plays and makes for a better song better music a lot of lyrical and fast rappers act like what they're saying is more important than the song itself and that's usually detrimental to the song rapping fast is kind of a technique and it's like a uh, it's a trick and the lyrics you're saying it's great but they're more powerful if you say it with the song production unique and playful production especially is something that helps fast rappers do something different because or, or lyrical rappers do something different because it forces them to think differently to actually match and once again kind of play with the beat um here's two examples well some examples first we're going to start with that old beat that when you rap over this and you're fast and lyrical you're going to sound exactly like it's hard to sound too far from the old school rappers and people might still appreciate that but it's hard to make a hit because people have heard so many of this so much of this So those are some examples of some of those beats that just they're going to pretty much put you in that pocket of rapping kind of in that similar fashion. And a lot of those people, if you're fast and lyrical, you probably want to experiment and do something a little bit different. Now, there's some caveats, as in with these songs. Bitch, you guessed it. You was right. 
All right, so the caveat is all of these rappers, uh, Macklemore, J. Cole, and OG Macko, they made hits with these three songs, but for different reasons, none of them really like this song. There's these songs, right? So OJ Macko, he just, OG Macko, he just did this because he said he was basically hacking the game. He was being playful. If you listen to his other stuff, you know he's a lot more lyrical and this sounds a lot different than his normal stuff, but he just wanted to get through. He broke through, but it wasn't him, right? Macklemore, he didn't want to get cut into a vibe and caught in a vibe that ne wasn't necessarily him because Thrift Shop is kind of, I guess, a part of him, but most of this old stuff is actually kind of a fast, more lyrical beat. And even J. Cole with that workout, if you know J. Cole, you know that song. It's not him. And he even came out and said, you know, he just let himself down. He let his idol Nas down. So you don't want to get caught in some zone when you're doing this playful experimentation when you're not being yourself. So be you, though. You got to stay yourself. Um, I know it's hard to kind of think about all these things that I just said and, and still be at the same time. Get used to it. Just experiment. Have fun. But here's a great example of someone who did this. And I think he was himself, but I don't know him well enough to say that. But it sounded like it. But this guy... He, when you listen to these songs, I'm just going to play out in the rest of the video um, and let it go out. He was super playful with the production. Well, the production was super playful, but he interacted and played with the music itself. So it's super musical. He doesn't sound like he's rapping over the beat against the beat. They sound perfect together. They're interesting together. He raps fast and slow. So you understand him, but he does give you kind of that trick and technique of the fast rapping. It sounds good. The choruses are super dope, in my opinion. And he even tells stories. Right, they're not necessarily them deep stories like in them or some kind of I don't know, the world sucks, but they're stories in the sense of he's kind of flirting with girls in the way he talks, as if he's talking to a woman. So you imagine the situation, imagine the flirtation taking place. So what you're gonna hear first is two snippets from songs where he's kind of being lyrical, and then two snippets from those same songs when he's actually when the choruses are super catchy, dope. And you can see all of these elements. Listen to it out. Subscribe if you like it. More coming later. Let me know if you want me to do something in particular in the comments below. Have a good one. Don't wanna be my lane, I don't want you in my lane, you a lame, get swerved. Oh, game, good tactics. Hey, buy your nice things, girl, that's reckless. I'd rather give you my password than Netflix. Look, I know I'm a black boy, brown skin, white girl, think I taste like chocolate. Mm, maybe you should come try a lick. Shit. Caroline, don't you see that? I want you to be my bad thing. Fun as hell. It's for little mama look you can call me bye, bye. baby you can call me bye bye